thanks for staying with us right here on Sunrise as we continue this Friday, Friday morning. Now, under the theme Together We Move South Africa Forward, the Department of Transport will officially launch the 2017 October Transport Month campaign in Ekuruleni today. Now, the campaign showcases transport infrastructure services and the department's flagship programs. To talk more about Transport Month, we are now joined in studio by Deputy Minister of Transport, Sindisiwe Chikunga. And remember, you can be part of our conversations by giving us a call on 011 or 11 Your comments are also welcome on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, good morning to you, Deputy Minister, and thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. Now, a lot of work lies ahead in terms of uh, Transport Month. It's just 30 days in a year, but the work is greater than that. What have you got planned uh, for this year's Transport Month? Maybe one unique thing about the launch today is that yesterday we celebrated the International Maritime Day in uh, St. John, uh, uh, in the Eastern Cape yesterday. Mm. And we're joining other member states of IMO in the celebration of what is happening. And the theme was connecting people, ships, and, and ports. And we were part of that as yesterday. And today, we will then be launching our transport, uh, 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 October Transport Month. Mm. And this is the 12th year since we started celebrating and showcasing our infrastructure and the services that we offer as the Department of Transport. When you speak transport, you speak about all modes of transport, whether you speak aviation, maritime, rail, road, public transport, and of course we say road safety as well, even if it is part of road transport. Mm. We will be looking into that. We'll be saying what, are the, what is the infrastructure that is there, which needs to be celebrated, launched bridges, roads, uh, whether you speak OR Tambo, the OR Tambo International Airport, whether you speak whatever in the maritime, which I'm not going to mention because it's going to be launched by the president, mm. whether we're creating jobs, whether we're producing skills that are necessary in the transport sector. This will be showcased during this 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 month mm. and we will also be talking about the jobs that we're creating as, as this transport sector for instance if you speak the Moloto road that we're already constructing uh, it, it has the potential to create not anything less than 12.5 thousand uh, jobs mm. and and whether you speak the N2 in the uh, in Eastern Cape for instance that we're also creating it has the potential to create a thousand jobs so we'll be talking about all those things uh, during this month and celebrating that, celebrating the fact that we have a zero record on air crashes, for instance, in South Africa. Mm. And people might take this for granted. It's not for granted. Mm. The day you have an air crash, it will change everything about South Africa. Mm. And we don't want that. Countries that have had some air crashes, for instance, today, they don't have tourists visiting, going to their countries just mm. because of the two air crashes associated with terrorism. We don't want that. So let's uh, let's talk about the bigger theme. Uh, you know, together we move um, South Africa forward. You've already touched on some of uh, the programs, the achievements, and highlights. But uh, you know, once we start talking uh, transport for the general public, issues of safety, and it's good that you, you spoke about the, the aircraft situation. But when it comes to uh, accidents uh, on the road, you know, challenges around school transport, issues around uh, trucks, uh, you know, during the day versus overnight, uh, that always becomes a talking point. We're losing a lot of lives uh, as, South, as South Africa, and road safety is one of the key uh, drivers of your conversations throughout uh, the month. That is very true, but maybe to mention the fact that when we speak trans, I mean transport, we have non-motorized transport, for instance, and motorized transport. Mm. Whether you're walking, for us, that's mode of transport, mm. and therefore walking is a mode of transport. Mm. And we want to ensure that you are safe as you walk as, as a pedestrian. You are safe as you use motorized transport. We are safe as you, as you are cycling. You are safe as you are on your motorbike. You are safe as you are on your animal cart, for instance. We have got to ensure that. And anything that interferes with your safety is our concern as you walk, as you are transporting yourself or we are transporting you, is our concern. And that is why we are signatory to you and decade of action which is important for South Africa. Mm. And we said we're going to have accidents and fatalities by 2020. And we are saying we're not there and we're so concerned about it. Despite the fact that before we became signatory to end decade of action, our fatalities were decreasing at 0.56%. And after signing and with the programs that we're implementing, the decrease is, 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 is at 1.88%. Mm. There is an increase in the decrease in terms of percentages, but it's not what we want. We want the 50% because it is 
we're going to achieve the 50% if we're decreasing by 50%. If we're not, we might not achieve what we want. Mm. And we're not talking about, about people getting injured because that's another matter. There are so many people that live poor quality life because of road accidents. However, we are saying at least there is a little bit of decrease. And together, working with South Africans, taking all the measures that you've referred to, ensuring that people are careful, because all that we need is a driver who is conscientious, mm. a driver who says, I'm now in the car. This car, which I like so much, which I bought, which I'm paying money for, mm. can actually kill me, can injure me, can render me forever not productive something that is in the mind. Therefore, I'm not going to text as I drive. I'm not going to, dr I'm not going to drink. When I want to drink, I'll have a driver. Mm. It's such things that we talk about. But during this month, it's not only on the road safety, like I've said. We say we also have mode of transport in aviation, for instance, mm. and we, I mean as aviation. And we're saying as aviation, we're doing so exceptionally well as a country. I was just checking on how we performed last year at the ICAO elective uh, assembly. We are in category in category two as South Africa. Those are countries that are very active in aviation. Category one are countries that are active in aviation, but also they make aircrafts. Mm -hmm. We're not making aircrafts in our commercial aviation as South Africa, and that is why we're in category three. But we received, we were the third country to receive highest votes in category in category two with 12 countries mm. and that excites South Africa because you have your developed world and developed countries that we are contesting with to receive to be number three in terms of the number of votes that you receive it's good for South Africa and it's good for us it says we are making our mark probably to mention the fact that our CEOs are serving in these bodies and their chairpersons they are everything else in Africa in the world our, our CEOs will be chairpersons of aviation security, for instance. One of us is a, a security um, in chairperson of, of, of Africa Council and deputy chairperson in the uh, World or Global Council. Mm. So it's all these things they put us in the map. But what does that mean for South Africa? What does it mean for South Africa when the auditors from ICAO say you, are, you have... You have you have surpassed the, our, our expectation and you have increased your performance. It actually means that the air cargo from South Africa to U.S. will continue to happen. Okay. So we'll continue to transport our air cargo to U.S., to EU. If we had failed that ICAO audit just this year, we would not today be transporting our our, our, our cargo uh, 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 through the uh, uh, aircraft. There's a big uh, launch of the pr uh, program for the whole month today. Just uh, take us through what uh, the program uh, will entail. I, I think let me also agree with Laule. He's so correct in what he is saying. And in fact, we need people such as him mm. who are going to say these things either than ourselves. The, the launch today will be in the form of a roadblock. So we'll go to the road and we'll be stopping, checking roadworthiness of our vehicles, drivers, licenses and everything. So it's going to start there. Mm. Then after that, we'll come back and address the minister. will then give a keynote address addressing people about everything that we're talking about here today, mm. probably across all modes of transport. What is it that we're doing in the oceans and so on and so forth? What is it that we have achieved uh, through Operation Pakistan Oceans Economy uh, on our roads, for instance, on rail infrastructure? We have a company. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is going to make uh, uh, trains, cow coaches mm -hmm. in Ekuru Lane in South Africa. So the 500 more coaches that we need to have in South Africa, we're no longer going to buy them from Brazil, like the 20 that we have purchased from Brazil, mm -hmm. the initial ones. We'll be making them in South Africa. What does it mean? It means that the Sambotu must give us those seats that we need, make them and give to the, to the company so that they can actually use in our trains. It actually means more employment for our people because whatever that we do, it has got to ensure that it, 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 it addresses the issue of unemployment, particularly for young people. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that is why we have all these things. The beneficiation is actually happening. The localization is actually happening in the Department of Transport. And, 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 and I, I must thank you for giving us this opportunity because people, when you speak transport, they only think about the roads. The roads, yeah. And, 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 and the Department of Transport, it covers almost everything about transport in South Africa, whether, like I've said, maritime. What is happening in our oceans, for instance, the ocean's economy. We now have, even if there are still four, but we have four vessels registered. Okay. That is important. We can then dictate to those vessels 
that you shall employ South Africans. And that is why we are therefore saying our, 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 our tertiary institutions must continue to train seafarers. Yesterday I met something that I, I, I've, I've never known in my life. Somebody who says, I'm a commercial diver. I go down the water and I, I do what is called plumbing and, and so on in the, water. in the water. And she is a woman, so, a South African. So all these are opportunities that are there for young people. So in terms of like the program itself uh, uh, today, what can you tell us about it? What will be happening specifically today? Like I've said, we will start with the roadblock. Mm -hmm. We're going there right now from here. And, and from there, we'll go to the, the, the hall. And, and in fact, the, yeah, in, in, in the stadium and we're going to address people. So it will so be a formal. In Ekuruleni. Yes, that is at Ekuruleni. It will therefore be a formal program where we're going to have the mayor welcoming us. We're going to have MECs uh, giving a message of support. We're going to have the deputy minister giving some remarks and introducing the minister, then a keynote address from the minister. And okay. that will be the program for today in terms of the launch of our, our October Transport Month. All right. Thanks very much for joining us uh, this uh, morning. Of course, the deputy minister of uh, transport there, Cindy Siwe Chikunga, uh, chatting to us about the plans and program for the rest of the month of October as the program is being launched today. Do stay with us at the Sunrise Live Ratchet E.